During the visit to Europe, PM Modi has met with the leaders of Germany and Denmark, as well as attended the second India Nordic Summit at Copenhagen in Denmark. And on the final day of his three day trip to Europe, he met with the newly re elected President Emmanuel Macron. PM Modi's visit to France. Prime Minister Narendra Modi received a warm welcome from French President Emmanuel Macron at the Elysee Palace in Paris. The two leaders discussed how to ensure cessation of hostilities in Ukraine and mitigate the global economic consequences of this conflict. And other topics include Beijing's growing expansionist ambitions in the Indo-Pacific region, the delivery of Rafale fighter jets, bilateral defense cooperation, and action to combat carbon emissions. Prime Minister Narendra Modi started his three-day tour to strengthen India's bilateral ties with these countries with a significant push on trade, defense, security, and energy. With France holding the presidency of the European Union this year, the conversation with France becomes imperative. Both India and France can further enhance collaborations on multiple fronts. After, French President Emmanuel Macron met with Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the French state-owned company, EDF, on Thursday said that, it hopes to seal a deal to equip India with six latest generation of evolutionary power reactor, EPR, that will have the potential to power 70 million Indian households with an installed capacity of 9.6 gigawatt and cut carbon dioxide emissions by 80 million tons every year. What are EPR reactors? Evolutionary power reactors, EPR, also known as European pressurized reactors, are the latest third generation of pressurized power reactors that focus on improved safety levels, limiting the consequences of hypothetical accidents at plants and competitive power generation costs. These are high efficiency reactors of the 1600 megawatts class. It will take less time to build and operate and will have a service life of 60 years and will improve fuel efficiency. It also protects against core meltdowns and their radiological consequences. It is also more resistant to external hazards, such as plane crashes and earthquakes. With 1,600 megawatts of unit power range, they have the highest unit power range to date. While the reactor equipment is designed for a core thermal power capacity of 4,500 megawatts. According to the statement issued last year by EDF, the French state-owned company offer includes the detailed technical configuration of the reactors, taking into account site conditions, as well as the terms and conditions for the supply of engineering studies and equipment for the six reactors. It is based on EDF and NP SIL's complementary skills and aims to establish a long-term partnership between the French and Indian nuclear industries. The NP SIL will be responsible for the construction and commissioning of the units, as well as obtaining all necessary permits and consents in India as the future operator of the plant. This includes certification of the EPR technology by the Indian regulator. EDF will not be an investor in the project, nor it will it be in charge of construction, but will work with its partners to encourage Indian industrial participation in line with India's Make in India and Skill India initiatives. Countries using EPR Finland was the first country to start building EPRs which are still under construction. And China had the world's first operational EPR unit called Taishan 1. While France and the United Kingdom are also among the countries constructing more EPR nuclear reactors. If India's EDF bid is successful, six stations will be built in Maharashtra's Jaitapur with a capacity to serve approximately seven crore households in the country nuclear energy, as it is a zero-emission, clean energy source, also aligns with India's climate goals. It also takes up less space and produces more electricity in the same area as compared to other clean energy sources. India and France have a long history of cordial relations. India and France launched their strategic partnership in 1998. 
With the end of the Cold War, the two countries' political positions became increasingly similar. And, France was the first major Western power to openly advocate for the benefits of a multipolar world, even referring to the United States as a hyperpower. And, more importantly, since 1998, when India conducted nuclear tests and the entire world was against India, France has stood by India. The strategic partnership is built on three main pillars, defense cooperation, space cooperation and civil nuclear cooperation. The current visit was also necessary in the context of the Ukraine conflict. Modi and Macron are among the few world leaders who have kept open lines of communication with Russian President Putin and Ukrainian President Zelensky.